Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, adoration be unto the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The King of kings and the Lord of lords, the one who is, who was, and who is to come. I want to bless God for your life and bless God for in faithfulness and for the way we did they help we day by day. I personally believe that we will be in leadership and we will aspire also for become future leaders. This teaching don't they change your mindset about leadership. Because God, the purpose why he call we into leadership, now for the benefits of in people, now for make life for be easy and fulfilling for them. And now that make we leaders, we get a responsibility. One, we get a responsibility before God in we call we. Number two, we get a responsibility before the people them we they don't place we over them. So, I want for them to be mindful of the responsibility both to God and to the people them where God don't place we over. And at that make we they take we look at leadership from the biblical point of view because now God ordained leadership. God is involved in every form of leadership, whether political leadership, religious leadership, secular leadership, every leadership in whatever shape or form it be, God na in ordain leadership. So therefore, I want to let you bow your heads down. Now go to God in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we exalt and magnify you. We lift you higher. We glorify your holy name. Thank you for the victory of the cross. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the power and the person of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we don't come once more again. Lord, before you, concerning the issue of leadership, Lord, now you ordain leadership. And Father God, you give leadership to your people for let them go fulfill destiny. Help us that God, we will be in leadership. And even the one them, Lord, we they aspire for become future leaders. Lord, that you will grant them that grace, the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding. That Father, we will discharge with duties and as leaders faithfully in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, the praise and the honor. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now remember, uh, we don't start in our last study a new topic with now, leadership in the kingdom. Leadership in the kingdom. And I've been trying to tell you in a uh, past study, say, leadership originates from God. And because leadership originates from God, the only way where leadership go benefit humanity, now when we go back to God in self self, we are in ordained leadership. You know, everything in life where they exist, it gets a source from which way it originates from. For instance, we human beings, right? Now, God make we. Now, from God, we originate from. The reason what he make today, we get so many problems in, in our life as human beings. Whenever the thing, right, where they exist, it cut off from a main source. That thing, they are not going to get meaning again at all in life. The water, the spring, we cut off from the main source who side the water they come out. If that spring they cut off from a main source, what do you think say will happen to the spring? The spring will get for dry completely. And so also we mortar man, right? We get so many issues and problems today in we lives, in we families, in we communities, because human beings, right, we have been created in the image of God. Now so the Bible says now the book of Genesis chapter 1. 
verse 26. Waiting, he say, Genesis 1, verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So you see, so God created man, verse 27, in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. So we find out, say, according to the scripture, we I just don't read to you, that human being, we mortal man, we originate directly from God. So that it means that if we originate from God, now God will suppose, now God is supposed to be with us. Now God is supposed to depend upon. Now God is supposed to guide we. Now God is supposed to direct we. Now God will be able to make, right, we live a better life, a peaceful life, a fulfilling life, a victorious and a prosperous life. So now that make, right, Jesus Christ even say, in the book of St. John chapter 15 verse 5, he said with him, St. John 15 5, what did he say? He said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can wait in, do nothing. So there it means that whenever the thing is cut off from in origin, right? It cut off from a main source, that thing they, they become within. And they become useless. For instance, the tick now introduce the branch. But if the branch, they cut that branch they off from the main tick, what do you think say go happen to the branch? It they wither and it they dry away. Now, also, leadership, right? Leadership in the kingdom. Leadership originates from God. Now God ordained every form of leadership. But today, we don't try to cut leadership off completely from God. And the principles where God set up, where God govern a leader, whether religious leader, political leader, social leader, community leadership, leadership in the family, all leadership in within, it originates from God. How I know in Romans chapter 13. Please turn your Bible with me to the book of Romans chapter 13. I will read from verse 1. Romans 13, 1. What did it say? It say, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. Right? The powers that be are ordained of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Verse 2. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Let us read from the good news. Romans chapter 13 verses 1 and 2. Everyone must obey the state authorities. This they talk about political leadership. Because no authority, no authority exists without God's permission. No authority, not they exist without God's permission. And the existing authorities have been put there by God. The existing authority... So whether religious leadership, whether political leadership, community leadership, institutional leadership, every leadership has been within, instituted by God. It has been put there by God. So no leadership, no day, where they exist without God in permission. So we see that also in Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. Daniel 2, verse 21. I will read. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. What did he say? He say, He changed the times and the seasons. He removed kings and set up kings. 
He giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know understanding. He what? He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. In good news now, let us read. He say, verse 20, chapter 2, verse 21. He controls the times and the seasons. He controls. Thank God, now with God, they control times and seasons. He makes and unmakes kings. So, with God, now the kingmaker. I love this, the way our good news put on. He makes and unmakes kings. Right? Now, he can put king, somebody in authority. When you say king, there mean a leader, the authority. He makes and unmakes kings. It is he who gives wisdom and understanding to leaders. Now, God now they give wisdom, now they give understanding to we leaders. Them. So now that make <laughs> Jesus Christ say, for without me, you can do nothing. And now that make a title this way, you know, this way topic, leadership in the kingdom. Leadership in the kingdom. Because he makes kings, right, and unmakes them. So we, lead, we, we God, now the king maker. We God, now in the choose a leader, now a king maker. In Daniel chapter 5, verse 21. Daniel 5, verse 21. I go read. Daniel chapter 5, verse 21. What did he say? And he was driven from the sons of men. And his heart was made like the beasts. And his dwelling was with the wild asses. And they fed him with grass like oxen. And his body was wet with the dew of heaven. Without the Bible, they talk about Nebuchadnezzar. He was a proud king. So how would they take leadership? They're proud, they purpose. Mm. Till he knew that. Right? The most high God rule in the kingdom of men. And that he appointed over it whomsoever he will. I will read now the good news. Daniel 5 verse 21. What did he say? He say, I will read. He was driven away from the human society. Who was driven away? Nebuchadnezzar. And his mind became like that of an animal. Right? His mind became like that of an animal. He lived with white donkeys. Why? If the man be, be, become too proud, if he say, now he put himself at the throne, now he God said, make him like animal. He ate grass like an ox. He eats grass like a cow. And slept in the open air with nothing to protect him from the dew. Finally, he admitted that the supreme God controls all human kingdoms. You see, eh? The supreme God controls all human kingdoms, including the young kingdom of Sierra Leone, and can give them to anyone he chooses. He can give to anyone where he chooses. Praise the Lord. So then, we look at what exactly what in the Bible say concerning leadership. That leadership originates from God directly. Leadership, it directly originates from God. And for that we get, right, a leaders where they bring transformation, a change in we community, we need to go back and follow the biblical principle of leadership. If the church get for do well, right? We culture and traditional leadership all don't fail, right? Members say leadership change 
from the day where Adam and Eve then fall from the garden of Eden. Hallelujah. And so, the leadership where Adam and Eve then bring, now the Gentile leadership, now leadership where God not involved in, Jesus Christ, he tried to rebuke the disciples in Luke chapter 22, verses 24 to verse 27. Jesus, he not give no allowance for import the Adamic leadership, nature of leadership, the traditional cultural type of leadership for bring and come in the affairs of men. Rather, he want for let we go back to within the Bible leadership, not to the Gentile leadership. Let me read to you in Luke chapter 22, verses 24. I will read on to verse 27. And there was also a strife among them, probably between the disciples, which of them should be accounted the greatest, would therefore take leadership. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles, the Adamic leadership, the Gentile leadership, exercise lordship over them. And they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors but ye shall not be so but he that is greatest among you let him be as the younger and he that is chief as he that doth serve for whether is greater he that seated at meat or he that served is not he that seated at meat but i am among you as he that served so, Jesus now tried to tell the disciples, you know, probably between the disciples, where they come. They want for, uh, they will make plaba for leadership. But Jesus Christ, he tried to tell them, say, when I really know what they ask for, because the Gentile leadership, not a good leadership. The Adamic nature leadership, not a good leadership. And a leader supposed for be somebody we go able to lead the people them very well. If for be an example, if for be a selfless leader, if for live the life before he lead the people, if for be a servant leader. In another way, to make with the suffer so today, even what to make the church they suffer so. What to make with the suffer now with communities. What to make with nations and they suffer now because now Gentile leadership now we get. We not get servant leadership. Right? Mark chapter 10, verse 41 to 45. Right? So Jesus Christ did not give any room at all. Mark chapter 10, verses 41 to 45. What did he say? And when the ten had it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. But Jesus called them to him and said unto them, you know, you know that they which are counted to rule over the Gentiles, Gentiles mean people that will not know God at all. They not get relationship with God. People that way, their own leadership, they far away from God. Right? You know that they which are counted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. And their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you. But whosoever will be great among you 
shall be your minister. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be minister unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. So Jesus Christ now tried when James and John then come to Jesus together with their mama. They come for make this request, right? They want for take leadership. One for they na the right hand of Jesus. The other one for say ingo they na the left hand. Jesus Christ say, <laughs> when I don't mis really understand the meaning of true leadership. And so today we found out for say the sufferings now with communities. The sufferings then today, now the church, the sufferings in the families, the sufferings in, in various institutions today, they come as a result of within Gentile leaders. Leaders them were not selfless. Leaders them were everything not for themselves. Leaders them were not to servant them. They are bosses them. Right? Leaders them way they left for put burdens on people them. Burden way they of themselves not able for truth at all. So Jesus Christ now try for tell them say, right? This kind of pattern of leadership, heaven not approve them. The Gentile leadership, now a leadership way oppressive. Now leadership when they focus on himself. Now for in personal benefit, in personal pocket, and in in party and in girlfriend and in one day with the now in the one day with the battle with the around that. Now they no more the benefit. But Jesus Christ said no. Right? We are not for leave. We are not for practice. We are not for follow this kind of pattern of leadership. He say now what what leadership? He said, but Una no say, now this kind of leadership, the Christ and the Pharisees, now they don't copy, they don't even bring a car inside the church today. Now they bring her inside the church. Let we see. In Matthew chapter 23, Jesus Christ being there against the Gentile pattern of leadership. He warned the disciples them. If this gospel got for benefit, if the purpose of which way I don't come for die for the sins of mankind, right? The whole world get for benefit. This kind of leadership owner the car asks for. So, not to the correct leadership. He said, but it's unfortunate today that the scribes and the Pharisees, them, the custodian of the law, where they're supposed to set the example, they don't go to the Gentile leadership pattern. Now they don't come, now they don't bring so today inside my kingdom. Right? He say, when I don't pull me church. He say, then, then, then Christ and Pharisees they are, they don't use the Gentile leadership for come pull me church. Waiting make Jesus Christ be angry with the Christ and the Pharisees. And why today God angry with the present day leadership? Political leaders or oh, institutional leaders, them oh, now because we see the rates at which we matter, man, they suffer. They not care. Waiting people, they suffer. Waiting them, they go through. Everything is about themselves. Number one, why Jesus Christ being really there against this kind of leadership? As we read in Luke chapter 22, why Jesus Christ there against the Gentile leadership? Luke chapter 22, verse 24. What did he say? And there was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto them, the kings of the Gentiles, the kings with political leaders, them, right, of the Gentiles, exercise lordship over them. And they that exercise Authority upon them are called what? Benefactors. So number one, characteristics of Gentile leadership is that the Bible says within, then they 
exercise authority over the people. Then they use their power for oppress the people. Whether they like it or not, some can use gum. Some they even use with a juju. When I know they see the African leadership, now when they say now, election time they come, people pick it, they go begin loss. They go fair mother man, even a woman. The secret part, then, uh, the part they not the day. In a picking, then they pull, pull the part. Why they want for do? Why wait till then they pull, pull their part then they? Now for make medicine for control the people, whether they like it or not. They we for subject to them. God say that kind, Christ say that kind leadership they. Not to in bring come. Then they oppress the people. Then are autocratic or authoritarian leaders. What did they talk next for? If not, not Greece, if not gone, and go use God. They don't mind, they wipe off everybody, but everybody for obey their rule. Not to that kind of leadership day. So, because leadership, we don't pull leader, we don't pull God out of the Bible, out of leadership completely. Now that make we get oppressive leaders inside the church, even today, with communities. With institutions, with nations, right? So Jesus, he said, not to this kind of leadership. When I suppose for desire, Gentile leaders, number one, then they oppress the people. Then they oppress the people. Then they put burden on people where they of themselves not able for carry. Then they put burden on the people where they of themselves not able for carry the burden. How I know in Matthew chapter 23, the Gentile leadership. And now they tell you why Jesus Christ, the Gentile leadership, not go able for bring a change, a transformation. Now because number one, the Gentile leadership. Na oppressive leadership. They can use gun, then they use juju for manipulating people against their will. Matthew 23, verse 3. The Bible says, Matthew chapter 23, verse 3. Now take come from verse 2. Say, the Christ and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe that, observe and do. But do not ye after their work, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Then they bind heavy burdens. So the Gentile leadership, now oppressive leadership, they are not they live by an example, but rather, then they say one thing, then not they do one. Then they for oppress. Then they bind heavy burdens. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Not a wickedness. You they tell people they for do something. Where you not even prepare for let you do at all. We know they even they see that today in the church. Some pastors then can talk about giving. Give your tithe. But you know they give tithe. Let you give offering. You know they give. Where they say for give pledge. You know they give nothing. But you want let the people then give. You can talk about fasting. Early morning. And they make that bread. One bread they would can call eat and rest. If they load and ping, then now in the announce fast, you know. That big bread, what they call it, eat and rest. I don't know if they still the maker now. But they'll be the maker. That bread, that one they aim it, they aim it like a rejoice. They, they tell the people they let them fast. But he, you know they fast, oh? He, you know they fast. When you go, all the money, you go meet her, you sit down, you get that big bread, eat and rest. He load that. Right? With BB cup tea. We know they see some pastors and they do that today. Yes. You know what some can say? Do as I say, but don't do as I do. So now the Gentile leadership that one day, 
We get them more food today. They can tell you how to Allah, there, Allah, there, Allah, there, Allah. When you come out, you look at them. Right? When you look at them, like verse 4. Let me read them again. I tell you, say, number one reason which make Jesus Christ be there against the Gentile leadership and the world not going to become a better place until we move away from the Gentile leadership, we come to the leadership of the Bible. The one way God involved in. We are a leadership of servanthood and leadership where they sacrifice for in people. We know the sufferings of the people. We go feel for in people. Verse 4. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers they themselves right waiting then they tell the people they're not ready for doom how you go say you know a leader right where then they pay tax you say because now you, you know the big man you know they pay tax at all is that correct no now they the corruption they come out. So number one, the Gentile leaders them, then they put heavy burden on people. Then an autocratic authoritarian leaders them. Load whether they put for people them, then says they're not ready for carry that load day. So Jesus Christ they against the Gentile leadership. And the reason why make it be a pronounced cause on the scribes and the Pharisees now because now Gentile leadership now they copy the brain guy inside the church. Right? They bring and come inside the church. Number two, Jesus Christ been there against this Gentile leadership because the Bible says, now for their own personal benefits. Right? Everything when they do, when they take position, now then they take the best places. Then they, they take, they buy the best car, the best everything, now for themselves. Jesus Christ called them with it benefactors. Luke chapter 22, verse 25. What did he say? And he said unto them, the kings of the Gentiles, right? They president them, the honorable ministers them. The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. Then they exercise lordship over the people. And they that exercise authority upon them are called with him benefactors. That means uh, now for their personal benefit. So now tell me, a jet, now tell me why the Gentile leader not for corrupt? Because according to what Jesus Christ they give the characteristics of Gentile leaders, right? Now would they see the apostle today? Not to servant leaders. Now wait in. Now Gentile leaders, the Bible say they are benefactors. Now for their personal gain, and for the personal benefit. Right? Everything. Not for themselves. So tell me why they're not for thief money. I'm going to another country. Tell me what you mean they're not for thief the money. They change that. They're not put one cent now we now the account, the bank account now. Yeah. They go say to my so that if commission if acquire come out at all. But you don't say they're not sincere. Then they for cover cover themselves. Right? If commission of inquiry come out, then go say, let them not feel say at Keep any money in our account now. Now we go see now. Now we go see. We go to social bank. We go tracer. They are called what benefactors. You know what in Jesus Christ he began for say in First Peter chapter five verses two to three. The church says they don't miss a big time. First Peter five verses two. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, not for money. So man don't enter ministry now, not for money, but of a ready mind. Let me read them again. Right? Let me read them again. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not for constraints, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, right, but of a ready mind. Now, we're not there in ministry, right, for money, 
Of course, we need money for ministry. But we're not there in ministry for money. And Jesus Christ, he tell we that. The Gentile leaders, they're not benefactors. Now for personal gain, now that may they can, they can take any money, use or any out, they're not one for account for nothing because they think so when they take up leadership, now for their own personal benefit. I go read. I appeal to you to be shepherds of the flock that God gave you and to take care of it willingly. We're supposed to do the work of God willingly. As God wants you to. And not unwillingly. Right? Do your work. Not for mere pay. Not to for money. We're there in ministry. Right? We're not there in ministry for money. We're there in ministry for please the Father. But from a real desire to serve. So, we're supposed to know we the men of God. But because the Gentile leadership don't take over the love of money today, what they see, then they sell oil, pocketan, water, then they sell padlock, then they sell cane, then they sell salt, then they sell pamine, then they sell everything today. Then they sell everything because some man say, right, the whole of ministry work now, now money business. And really, this money within the gather, now for within, now for their own personal enrichment. Right? So, Jesus say, we are leadership not for tan so, because the leadership is not supposed to be benefactor leadership, not for personal benefit, now for the benefit of the people. Right? Not to for personal gain. That's the number two characteristics of a Gentile leader where Jesus Christ will tell the disciples and say, mm -mm -mm -mm. when I know they come into leadership, like how then Gentiles they ask so they take over leadership. When I know they see the way they take over, even the money, the taxpayers, the money, they can just use a pity pattern anyhow. Yes. They at the same time also, the country, they pay their fat money. Yes, right? But are they really feeling for, they have, do they have feeling for the people? No! Now the Gentile leadership that, because Christ not the day, God is not present in such the heart of such person. Number three, Jesus Christ, he rebuked the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And he said, I don't tell this Gentile leadership and bring a car inside my church. I don't want this today, I don't want this tomorrow. What did make Jesus Christ be there against them? Now because, according to the Gentile leaders, right, they can say, but they're not, they do. How I know? In Matthew chapter 23. They can talk something. He said, it's almost die, man. Lie. So I don't know, they and the, the politicians, eh, who that now then? Go with it. Hey, but you know, when I know, when I, when I, when I don't see, see, the politicians just said they take we serious because their own pattern of leadership now we said don't copy. So now, like, you know me, I know you. You watch me, I watch you. We're not serious with we say. We're not sincere with we say. So would I go tell in company two now? Because we're supposed to be the light of the world. The Gentile leadership. Now the leaders, the leaders that we not serve God. They're not get fear for God. They are not going to bring a change. Let me read that verse again. Then we go to Matthew chapter 23. Right? Verse 3. All therefore whatsoever they bid you, right? They will say for pay the tax. We for pay the taxes, but the same tax will they pay. Neither they take they enjoy. Right? Observe and do. But do not ye after their works. The Bible says, we, we, leadership in the kingdom, we when are men and women of God, will not forget this kind of leadership. A Christian leader, not for tan so. Because Christ or don't come at your heart. They do, they, but do not ye after their works. He said, we not for falamakata them. But today the church don't falamakata the politician. For they say and do not. For they say, I'm waiting, and do not. 
they say and do not. Then they make a lot of promises. You tell me what they make. You feel say politicians and then they lie. Give me every give me any reason why institutional leaders they're not going to lie. Because the grace of God not in at their heart. Now when Christ can inside somebody in heart, now in go turn that heart day, right? The stony heart. Every Gentile leader, their heart, the Bible, anybody will not know Christ. Pray, let God make, let them get the fear of God, let them know God. If they don't know God, you know, if you say life go, life go better for we. No, because their heart, the Gentile leader, it heart it together. Then they promise something. If I they lie, not make, lie, not make, it not make nothing. Lie, not the lifestyle that one day. Lie to them, after lie, like, wait, what's it, toss the way they drink water. I go read Ezekiel 36. Verse 25. He said, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness. When you come to Christ, Christ will clean you. And from all your idols will I cleanse you. Verse 26. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. All Gentile leaders there. You know what kind of heart they get? And I will take away the stony heart. All Gentile leaders. Now I make Christ. We are talking about leadership in the kingdom. All Gentile leaders. All Gentile leaders. Right? They get within a heart of stone. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh i will give you a heart of flesh right so if a leader in not don't get the grace of god now in heart whose kind of heart if you say it they get now a heart of stone if you say stone they feel no now i make where they want broke now hammer that they use of broker you know they feel where they already set fire panel so when a leader they in order the grace of God now in life, in not a fee for the people. Who not cry, who not cry no more. What do you want for do now they do? In the midst of in cry, in the enjoy. Who not they cry? But the major problem we will get na leadership, na gentile leader, the heart it's rather just like what it what it said. They not get the heart of flesh. I read again, verse twenty six of Ezekiel chapter 36. And a new heart also will I give you. A new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. Their heart is color. Right? But every day prices they go up. And the poor people are suffering. Gentile leadership. Their heart. I read them again. A new heart also. A leader will not get the grace of God. A heart. Now which kind of heart he gets? A stony heart. Talk you talk. And they do me do. After us, not to me, born them. They say, government, not get papa and mama. So, who said they go lay complain? Pass to God. And we said they lay complain to God. And then I got born we all. Government, not get papa. Government, not get mama. Now, orphan. So, we said, all with the orphans, then, we they cry to God. Because in a father for the fatherless. So, a stony heart. Out of your flesh. Enter leadership. Now, jet, be, now leadership for the person of benefit. They will say and do not. And at that Jesus Christ became very angry. With the Pharisees. They are so. Make a read now. From the good news. He said no, not bring this kind of leadership. Remember what in our topic. Eh? Leadership in the kingdom. Part 2. Leadership in the kingdom, part two. Because we don't divorce God from leadership, now that make with the suffer so. When you look like Sierra Leone, out of the 54 minerals in the world, Sierra Leone get 34 minerals. But see the suffering, which is our problem, now Gentile leadership. Everybody they fed for in pocket. Everybody they fed for in pocket. Everybody they paid for in pocket. La read. Jesus Christ being gays. He begin to pronounce curse on the scribes and Pharisees there. He said, Una don't poem me church. Una don't poem me church. Una don't poem me church. This kind of thing they do. Then 
Verse 1. Let me read from the good news. Then Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees are the author, authorized interpreters of Moses' law. He said, then leaders there, now then they interpret the Bible. So you must obey and follow everything they tell you to do. Because then our leader, when I obey, do not, however, imitate their actions. Do not imitate. We not for follow them lifestyle because they corrupt. Because they don't practice what they preach. Waiting that they talk. We get to the preachers and we know they practice waiting that they preach. They tie on to people's backs loads that are heavy and hard to carry. Yet they aren't willing even to lift a finger to help them carry those loads. Right? They do everything so that people will see them. Look at their straps. People will see them. Look at their straps with scripture. Verses on them which they wear on their foreheads and arms. And notice how large they are. Notice also how long are the tassels on their cloaks. They love the best places at feast. They love the where they the waiting say where they take off leadership and the side side the best gone day that then they take up. The best food, the best motoka, the best house, the best everything. They love the best places at feast and they reserve seats in the synagogues. They love to be greeted with respect in their marketplaces. And to be called teacher, you must not be called teacher because you are all members of one family and have only one teacher. That is Christ. Praise the Lord. So Jesus now tried for say, do not give no allowance for we for import this kind of strange fire for bring a calm into the church. Right? They not approve of this kind of pattern of leadership. We full of, of corruption. With the minerals where this country get, sincerely speaking, right? If not to the kind of gentile leadership, the stony heart leaders them where we get. Where one great person will take how many million or billion he put in my pocket. By now, everybody for live an average life. Life way, at least it go look and things go look better for us. So Jesus Christ say, We are not for follow this kind of leadership. He say, But it shall not be so among you. Right? So Jesus Christ now talk about the misconception where much a man they don't get about leadership. Both in the church, in the world, and in places of work. Right? Jesus cannot even stand on a neutral ground. He said leadership in the kingdom is not for me like the Gentile leadership. Where the leader's heart is so hard. The doctor, in one way, will take all the free health care drugs. He will sell all. Now where you go now there, hospital there, empty, ordinary glove self in all day. Pass you buy empty glove. Somebody, when I'm one me member, he's sick. He go to the hospital. And he say, ah, they say, Mama, you have gloves if you know. We don't get gloves now. Yeah, oh. Ordinary glove. They say, pass a buy glove. Everything. And yet they say that free health care. They have a tranga. Then they siphon all the drugs and they come and go to the private pharmacy. Then. Hey! But you be forget say this Bible. Now you you sasa. Now you be sweeper. Some man they get boku money where they pack. They pack them. Some man make safe vault them. Now they houses them. Right? Are full of what you have taken from the poor. The poor people they tax them where they pay. You have no right to crush my people. You not get you not, not get right to do that, and take advantage of the poor. I, the sovereign Lord Almighty, have spoken. In another way, to make not get right for do that. Now, because before we take leadership, right? We take oath. We take oath. Waiting, I've been the oath we take. 
and the oath will not be taken upon the Bible. In fact, they are not considered that self say na oath. They can take oath from the Quran and the Bible. Where they believe in a God in word. Right? They can just talk and their mouth, but not inside the heart. Let me read to you the book of Zachariah now. Hmm. Oh yeah. The book of Zachariah. Zachariah, please open your Bible with me to Zachariah chapter 5, verse 3. Then said he unto me, This is now God, now they talk to Zachariah. This is the cause. Swear that go where forth over the face of the whole earth. Waiting at this cause. Waiting at the swear. Where God will release. For everyone that steal it shall be cut off as on this side according to it. They are the thief. Not the thief no more. Right? Not the thief. Not just the thief. So let them talk. Not to business. Let them depart no more. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as he on that side according to what? According to it. When you want for become president, when you want for become uh, that judge, now this Bible will not be swear pan. You don't know say you be swear. That old way take now swear you swear say I go live, I go serve the people, I go work a trade with them, I not go punish them, I not go crush them, I not go go make them go hungry. This institution, I go make life for be better. Not to so, not to that old day will not be go take. Now that old will not be take. So I'm taking a parliament now for fun. So I'm taking a status. So I'm taking a law court. So I'm taking a the institution who said it. Let me read them again. Then said he unto me, This is the cause that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Right? A cause where God they release. For everyone that steal it, even you, the man of God, you remember where they be the consecrate you not to so? Wait till you be tell. Wait till you be, wait till be the oath where you be take. You don't forget completely. Men of God. Una not see how they die fifty fata. Right? You forget. Now that you don't enter, you don't see, you forget the oath where you take. You consecrate your all, you forget completely. Right? You the man of God. You the bishop. You see? What did he say? Then said he unto me, This is the cause that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. Verse 4 now. God says, Swear! Now they release. Right? He don't release swear. What did he say? Verse 4. I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts. Not to Pastor Mambu, they bring the trouble, the wala, na you do and you owes. Una them married woman, there some of the things they own a man then they do. Una no go tell them say you not correct because at the end of the day, na una una pick the girl for suffer. Are we really ready to confront with your personal life with issues that we not correct at all? If your life not correct, there is no way you go able for lead well. Verse four. I will bring it for sayers the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. God the cause, cause calamity, danger. Right? And into the house of him that sweareth falsely. You where you know say you they go take oath. You know mean them. Right? God they cause trouble for enter when I host them. Una and una picking them. Right? Swear falsely by my name. You hold the Bible so you they take the oath. You know say inside your heart you know mean them. Right? Sweareth falsely by my name. And shall remain in the midst of his house. Cancer, grace, trouble. When I pick it, when I know they see some how they pick it, they they, they pass pass. Even some way they even make like say they married. You when I see they married, they better no. Now whether they make a now they papa they way now they hand and they pan them thing here so now then they go so now they cause trouble for their own picking and they wealth for them. Right, and he shall remain in the midst of his house. The trouble where God they bring. The Bible says go remain now you owe. Others to know the owner don't build self with itself there. When I watch the picking them, mostly. Among the ten way go with itself, so ten are one one great one, I ain't go so bad. Say that not the man, not the mercy of God. Right? And he shall consume it with the timber thereof. 
The timber means say, the picking them. The stones thereof. Everything they work for. God they put with him. Cause honor. You the honorable minister. Now now they go when they part different 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 committee there. When I don't see how some man the number the number the number before he they die. He did their life now. You know they eat rest again. You know they eat normal food again. So man na pap then they give because we do yesterday when I in a lecture at another university they they go and sleep sleep with their picking then they for let them get away to he give them max. When I not go freed, now read them again. Then said he unto me, This is the cause that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that steal it, then thief no mean nothing in this country. Thief no mean nothing. For everyone that steal it, right, shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that swear it shall be cut off as on this side according to it. You, they go take Bible. You take Quran. Then you say, eh, you, you, you take the oath. You don't know the, the implication. You don't know what in that mean. This Bible, God the word. When the Bible says, heaven and earth shall pass away. This is past any kind, sasa. Go look, you pick in there now. Look your background. Look at your life. Even what you they labor for, people they dupe you. Because you be swear, say, you not go steal. You swear, say, you go make life for be better than for the people. You be swear, pan this Bible. You swear, pan the Quran. You say, now so you go live your life. You say, and everyone that swear it shall be cut off as on this side according to it. You know, can see some man just cut out, he die. Some man simple seek, he the killer. Verse 4. I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts. And he shall enter into the house of the thief. This cause, this trouble, this danger, this sickness, premature death. Right? And into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. For you old Bible. You they swear, you miss an fund when are generations and generations yes unborn, then get for pay for waiting there while then they do so. When I don't know that. Now because this Bible, they kill all no more they swear and they don't know what they decide. They get the name read the Bible, sir. So they don't care. I will bring it for says the Lord of hosts, and he shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And he shall remain in the midst of the house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. Let a reader now from the good news. Una, some of them married woman there. Una, not but even put on a man there and say, no, this thing is not correct. Then Piki, I will born tomorrow, tomorrow. Right? Even if Una die, Una left there, how they go get for time? Now, it's very, very important. So, man, the property always they gather, and other people they get for can enjoy them. When I miss this Bible, they lie. Now, I mean, I need to pray for preach and told myself. If I not tell her, then God will require her blood on my hand. Chapter 5 of Zechariah. From the Good News Version. Then he said unto me, God being given for said to Zechariah. On it, it is written. On this Bible, it is written. The course that is to go out over the whole land. There is a course where they go all over. Right? The whole land. On one side of the scroll, it says... That every thief will be removed from the land. God don't come up for purge the land. Una just the thief. Just the thief. Change them. Can go. Pound sterling. Dollar. Dutch mark. Can go. Go save and day. And on the other side it says that everyone who tells lies under oath. I like how this put her. Under oath. You know say what you they talk now. You mort. You know mean now. You are there. You own the Bible. You own the Quran. Now state oath. Right? That everyone who tell lies under oath will also be taken away. When I mean say God they left. <laughs> the Almighty says, not to Pastor Mambo, the Almighty says, even if you are not a believer, the Almighty, when I in word you hold so na and when I mean that this word that they preach to you, the Almighty says that He will send this curse out and it will enter the house of every thief. Every thief, political thief, religious thief, institutional thief. And the house of everyone who tells lies under oath. 
You will not say what you they talk. You will not say the swear way they swear upon the Bible. Say, I go do so, I go do so, I go do so, I go do so. Where you can at the opposite you they do. Right? You they tell lies under oath. It will remain in their houses. And leave them in ruins. It will remain in their houses, in their families. And ruin their wives and ruin their work. Ruin their finances. Ruin them picking them. That's what the Bible say. Not to Pastor Mambo. Because he will say, I don't begin to swear there. Not to me. Oh. <laughs> Not so God say. It will remain in their houses. All their houses where they be so. Right? It will remain there. And leave them in ruins. And leave them in ruins. So we see that Jesus he lived the life before he lived others. That was principle number one. Principle number two, Jesus Christ now be a servant leader. When you become a leader, you are there to serve the people. You did there for make life better for them. Right? You're not fit for lead. If all about leadership, not for your pocket, not for grab grab, not for yourself. Leadership, not for the people that benefit. Even we pastors. The offering, all you don't collect over the years. What do you really do for humanity? Where do they benefit? Maybe pass no more. Where they say, disaster for them. You buy a few baggers, you wait yourself. But the greater part of the money, the offerings and where they come, the donations and where they come. Now you don't build the church, but see what you really you do for help humanity. Leadership is for the benefit of the people, not to for yourself. Jesus Christ say income for cancer. So Jesus Christ now be a model leader in Matthew chapter twenty. Leadership not to for self benefit. What you don't do as a leader? For let other people that benefit from you, your leadership. And say, oh, we thank God for this we leader. I read Matthew chapter 20, verse 25 to 28. But Jesus called them unto him and said, You know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them. And they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, the one we want for become a leader, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. So Jesus Christ came. For come serve, you not come for be served. So, number one leader, leadership principle we we'll learn about Christ: He lived the life before He lead others. Any wrong thing within your life as a leader, if you not don't correct them, now the people they go copy from you. Now the same what kind of life the people they go live. Number two, Jesus now be a servant leader. Now be a servant leader as I don't read. He say. In Matthew 20, verse 28, what did he say? Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for within, for many. When I know say some of the way we leaders and live their life this, in this country, take time when I look them picking them. Some them marry them no better. Some them picking them when you look their life. Because the Bible says the cause go forth from the face of the earth. And they enter into their families from generations. When you say the stones and the timber they are all, from generations to generations, right? They go suffer for the kind of way leaders and they do. Number three, Jesus Christ, now a model leader because he teach we say leadership now by influence. That means say, you don't need to take gun for let them vote for you. You don't need for crook election for let them vote for you. No. Rather, now by what you don't do, 
People forget confidence in you and they go gladly follow you. You are not a leader if people are not gladly and confidently they follow you. You are not a leader. Peter, James, John, the others, them, would have they left in fishing net? Matthew was a tax collector. People that they left their job. Today, when they see uh, professors, them, they abandon their, their, their university lectures, them, then they wait in. They say, and they go into ministry. So nobody, not they will ever become a great leader like Jesus. And my prayer every day is, Lord, I want to be like you in leadership. Leadership is about influence. Leadership is about servanthood. Right? You will not become a true leader if you are not a servant and your life not able for influence people. People for gladly because of what you don't do. They for gladly, they forget confidence for let them follow you. Right? Number 14 way I learned about Jesus Christ in leadership is that Jesus Christ in leadership come as waiting as a relationship not by position. The reason why I make the African leaders them they don't fail and fail woefully today now because then see say leadership not by waiting not by position not by title but true leadership not by waiting. Leadership they come from relationship. Jesus Christ, the Bible tells me say that in the book of Luke chapter 9, right, he called these men to be with him. Relationship. Luke 9, verse 6. May I read to you. What did he say? Luke 9, verse 6. And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel. Right? And healing everywhere. Relationship. He was with them. They were with him. Right? Number five. We also see, say, Jesus Christ was a man of priority. Are they talking, what are we talking today? Leadership in the kingdom. Jesus lived for a purpose. A leader forget vision. A leader forget priority. A leader for live for a purpose. Right? So the one that were there around them, in Luke chapter 19 verse 10, what did he say? He came to seek and to save that which was lost. The Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. As a leader, what are your purpose? What are your priority? What are your goal? What are your vision? Now for Kapu Kapu, what are your vision? So Jesus Christ he live for a purpose. Any leader, when you know they live for a purpose, any new music camp, you they dance to her, you go left the few people that way you don't gather, you they left there in confusion. Right? So leader, as they go now, as age they begin to tell on them, they don't already lost everything. Number six. Another thing where I also learned about Jesus Christ in leadership. And when we leaders are supposed to wait is for follow, leadership is about problem solving. Right? We leaders are for identify and solve the problem with the people that they face. You know what they increase the credibility of a leader? What thing will make you for be popular? What thing will make people get respect for you? What thing make people go honor you? Now they go honor you, they go follow you, they go willingly ready for lay their life, right? Based on what thing. Based on the problems, them where you they solve for the people. For instance, if you don't take over that constituency, or you don't take over the mission, right? The widows, them, they're not getting nothing. The orphans, them, no witness, no provision, you know, made for them. The people, then, are the area. You're supposed to do something for create job for them. So tell water, not they. You bring good drinking water. School, not they. You be school. You make sure, say, you furnish. You make sure, say, you do things, them. Properly, right? The more problem where you dissolve, right? Your problem solving, it will increase the credibility of you, the leader. But today, I see somatic leadership. Now, in self, no more in the concentrator. In, in immediate family, in girlfriend, or in boyfriend. Right? That's now one thing. Jesus Christ, if they heal the sick, not only that, if they feed the people. You not take all the money, go put her. I know one day read that outside Jesus Christ say, Boku, Boku, money, go put her in a bank. No. 
in which it will be help or solve the problems of the people and make life will be better for the people. Number seven, another principle we are learned, Jesus be the lift people out of their low estates. When you become a leader, if you meet the people there, then they low. Right? Like for instance, where they teach on Eagles Hour. So man not be no waiting for do for earn living. So man, the business self will be they do, you don't know how for do them. Some students then they go to school, they don't know how for study, what they waiting there for do. Some parents they don't know how for even train their picking their well. Why all the programs they are, are initiated? Now for poor people, they're out of their low estate and make life will be better for them. That is true leadership. It's not about title. Bishop, doctor, so apostle, do and not to all that nine are leadership. Right? Jesus said, the work way are they do. Let it testify of me. So he leads people out of their low estate. Right? Leadership also is about change. Now leaders then will bring a, world, a worldwide change, both to the old and the young. A leader for able for bring a change. Bring a change. Change the way the people they think. Change the way people they live their lifestyle. Make life for be better. Jesus Christ, he changed the life of who? Peter them, we follow up. Right? He changed their life. He changed their way of thinking. May God help us today for raise up the kind leaders like Jesus. And make we the kind leaders like Jesus. Leader, Jesus bring healing to the people. When are they talking about healing? Right? Physical healing, mental healing, marital healing, right? Relational healing, financial healing, societal healing to their people. Jesus bring physical healing, mental healing, marital healing. You know how many marriage homes and they be healed? Homes and today, peace not being day. Right? Relational, financial, societal healing. See how society be done day. Right? And Jesus Christ, right? He been choose people and develop them. Leadership, now for develop the people, change their mindset and their lifestyle and make them for be better people. You equip them. Right? And make them for be better people. So when we look at the lifestyle of Jesus, we find out for say, now this is supposed to be the lifestyle of true leaders them, transformational leaders them, way for bring within, way for bring a change. These ten leadership principles where Christ in manifest. If any leader or every leader you adopt this and practice it. Jesus starts with the twelve, but today over billions don't turn to them because in leadership style is very, very unique. And Jesus Christ, he waited. He warned the disciples them. Say, let them not bring the Adamic leadership even into a church or into their communities. Waiting made Jesus Christ, he, 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 he opposed the Gentile leadership. Right? He opposed the Gentile leadership for four reasons. You know why? Why he opposed the Gentile leadership? Right? In Luke chapter 22. Why Jesus opposed the Gentile leadership? In Luke 22, verse 24 to 27. He opposed them for four reasons. Why we not for follow any uh, nation or institution or organization where we follow the Adamic uh, kind of leadership or the Gentile kind of leadership, we find out for say that nation not go progress. In why he do that? In Luke 22, verses 24 to 27. I go read. Luke 22. And there was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. The disciples that begin to plabber, would that for be the greatest among them? And he said unto them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. And they that exercise authority upon them are called within benefactors. The Gentile type of leadership or the Adamic leadership now within, now for benefits. The Lord say, the Gentiles them, 
the politicians, the institutional leaders, when they take over leadership, now for their personal benefits. The money always then they collect. Now then they, they, now then they live in the best houses, they ride the best motor car, they have for their personal benefit. Then the one that way then they live, then they suffer. Not to that we they see today. Let me read them again. And he said unto them, Jesus Christ, he opposed this kind of leadership. And I don't enter the church today. Right? With the see men of God, then they boast of waiting. Then they boast of jet them. This is saying, I mean, as the richest pastor. Is that true, true, true leadership? And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise authority, lordship over them. And they that exercise, in other words, their leaders, then, right? Upon them are called with it benefactors. He said, The Gentile leaders, then, now for their personal benefit. So even with this, even in the political thing, all the taxes that we then they collect, not whether they enjoy, then we they suffer. Not Gentile leader, not the way go do the correct thing. Now the transformational leader, waiting, you know, say, right? Or waiting, they come in. Now for the benefit of the people, now for serve the people. So Jesus, he rebuke in disciples them. He said, not to this kind of leadership. And now this kind of leadership, I don't enter. The Gentile leadership, now I don't take over the church. Now that makes me find out for say, even the politicians, they're not getting respect for the church today. Because the leaders, the church leaders, the bishops, the apostles there today, right? Evangelists, the prophets, they, they want to live like the politicians. So they all the meet on at the same area, they eat from the same pot and eat from the same table. They're not getting respect for we. Right? Pride. They enter. Benefactors. What he made Jesus Christ against the Adamic and the Gentile leadership? Now because he said, they say and do not. They can make promises. Things that can come under their mouth. But they not they do what they say. What did they say? They're not mean. Right? In Matthew chapter 23, verses 1 to 3. Not to make a read to you the book of Zachariah. Then they hold the Bible so that they swear and say, well, I don't come. I go make life for me. I go provide your fauna. I go make water. I go make bridge. I go be school. I go make college. I go make this. I go add power and salaries. I go wait itself and what not. Where they can, they just creep, creep all they put under their pocket. They where they can even wait there for approval. For working at the various, various areas there. Person I go bribe them again. Before they even go approve of that. Hmm. They say and do not. Matthew chapter 23. I will read from verse 1. Jesus be angry. He be angry with the Pharisees there also. Just like how today some church leaders there. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples. This is not Jesus. Now they talk to the multitude and the disciples. Saying, The Christ and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, right? The Christ and the Pharisees, they sit in Moses' seat. These have been the kind religious leaders there, but then have been Gentile leaders in their character. All therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works. He said, let the church leaders there not follow their Gentile kind of leaders there. For they say and do not. They are not going to hold this Bible and the Quran, they swear panna. This Bible, they are not going to hold they swear panna. You will not see that they do them. For they say and do not. But until God says, he don't care. He enter into judgment with them. He didn't enter into judgment with them. Because what did they swear pan in word? The oath where they take, not where they do. Let me read them again. All therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works. They will not follow them all. For they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens. Right? They say and do not. Then they take oath from Bible. They will never follow what they say. But God said with him, it will cause a curse from the face of the earth. The face of Sierra Leone, it will enter into their houses. They pick it, pick them. They pick it, pick them. Who not the wife there? Because most times, some wife then they talk, oh, although they demand they're not the But not set him to, because you know what thing? Now, evil account you man, they open left hand for you so. Now, now they under air condition, motoka they wait itself and all. But tomorrow, the Bible say, the papa then go eat the grapes, but the picking then go get the sour teeth. And you, the mommy, now you go carry the more burden. 
Because I tell you, why is the man go there with the girlfriend? They begin, they come, mama, now they have the pastor, mama, now so, mama, now so, mama, now so, mama, now so, mama, now so. Right? All them cults and won't sit on their, their hand and they were way inside. Now it's sweet, oh. The Bible says the bread of the seed is sweet. But your mouth could be full with gravel, gravel. Number three, what did make Jesus won against the Gentile leadership? He said they put burdens on the people when they're not ready for carry. Then they put burden on the people there. Right? They go tax una. Tranga, tranga one. They go post una. Put una under pressure. When they collect, collect the tax. Then they shape, shape to themselves. They will, they got friend, who, you know. They forget say, that, that oath way they take. Right? They say and do not. Let me say God not mindful of it. Well, heaven and earth go pass away. Una pass una repent. Oh. But if una not repent, I sorry for even una picking them. Why Jesus? He said they put with it burdens on the people. And sometimes even in the church, some pastor can tell the member they let them fast. You know say you know about fast? Why they can't put burden on the people for let them fast? Well, you know say you know they fast. Right? You go tell people they for live holy life. Then you get a friend in a corner. They put burdens. Let me read them again. For they bind heavy burdens. That now, uh, Matthew chapter 23 verse 4. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born. And lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them. With, with, it, with one of their fingers. Right? Number five. Why Jesus Christ. Maybe hate this kind of leadership. Now because the Gentile leadership now for themselves and for their own benefit. And for their self-ego. They are not true servant. Verse 5. Matthew 23 verse 5. But all their works they do to be seen of men. Not to know genuineness. So they make broad their circulatories. And enlarge the borders of their garments. Oh. Right? So be be close. Be be gown. Every occasion get different clothes. And love the utmost room at the feast. And the chief seat in the synagogue. And greetings in the marketplace. And to be called of men. Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi. Right? Now this night they left. And Jesus Christ with him. Verse 11. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. Do we have servant leaders today? May God raise up the Christ type of leaders both in the church, in our government, in our institutions, in our nations. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. My dear brothers and sisters, I want to say today, many things don't go wrong. Right? Many, 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 many things don't go wrong. Because what you do? This uh, culture and traditional leadership where is as old as the days of Adam in the Garden of Eden, where it fall. Now it's still they manifest. Now people they, now it's still they practice today. But Jesus Christ in response and instruction to the disciples. And to every one of us, where they in the place of service in the kingdom, it still remains loud and clear, right? That the greatest for be a servant. We are not in leadership for our own personal benefit, but we are there to serve. Because Matthew 23, 11, but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And I want to encourage you today, you ain't a leader. You know, say you don't put a pot up. All the money, they everything we just they gather. Right? Now, firewood, you they gather. Now, danger, you they gather for you and you picking them tomorrow. Right? That oath way you been take. You, the man of God, the oath way you been take. Right? For become a bishop, for become a pastor. That consecration. You know what you be me? You be me now. If you know me now, repent today. And do your restitutions. Right? If not, God will not be happy with you. Because he bring the people them under with leadership for make life for be better for them. Some supposed to live today 
because of you. And that is the purpose. And if I remember, say, as a leader, you come only your time at the stage. Now, day you did so now. Because he changed times and seasons. He did remove one and set it of the other. But at the end of our life, we get forgive account of we still worship unto God. Romans chapter 14, verse 12, what he is saying. Not all that person get forgive account of you. Now you say forgive, get forgive account. So that every one of us shall give account of himself unto God. And so as a result, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 12, Moreover, it is required in stewards. You know a steward, you know a servant. Moreover, because we, each and every one of us will get forgive account of himself unto God. What do we do with with leadership? The resources where God give, the people that we God put under our control, what we do with them, how we treat them, how we handle them. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. If you not be done, be faithful. The oath where you take, you not ever go by it. Repent today and say, God, be merciful to me. Let me pick it and not suffer because of me. Let me pick it and not suffer because of my character. Let me pick it and not suffer because of my attitude. Let me pick it and not suffer because of my decision. Let me pick it and not suffer because of the choices where I made. Let me pick it and not suffer because of the actions then. Where are they do? God be merciful to me. Wherever you are, the Bible says, if we know these things in St. John 13, 17, happy are we if we do them. You know, say God will deserve a God of second chance. If you don't mess it up today, it they look forward to you. For let it clean your past. And turn to a new page. And say, I will be a change leader. I will be a transformational leader. I want to lead like Jesus. Wherever you are, bow your heads down. Let us go to God in prayer. Begin for thank the name of the Lord. This moment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Papa God, now heaven we thank you. Lord, we bless you, Papa God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Lord, for every leader, we don't listen to this teaching today. And even the one them, where they aspire leadership. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for we educational leaders, health, Lord, the one that we in politics, everywhere, Papa God, we give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor. We bless your holy name. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for in Jesus' mighty and victorious name we are pray. Amen. God bless you. See you next time. Have a wonderful time. Amen. Yes, 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 yes.